Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about hope. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of hope is Romans chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. It says, Being therefore justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we also have our access by faith into this grace in which we stand. We rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only this, but we also rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces perseverance, and perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope, and hope doesn't disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of hope is found in Romans chapter 8, verses 18 through 25. It says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed toward us. For the creation waits with eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subjected to vanity, not of its own will, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself also will be delivered from the bondage of decay into the liberty of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and travails in pain together until now. Not only so, but ourselves also, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for adoption, the redemption of our body. For we were saved in hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for that which he sees? But if we hope for that which we don't see, we wait for it with patience. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Romans chapter 15, verses 12 through 13. It reads, again, Isaiah says, there will be the root of Jesse, he who arises to rule over the Gentiles, in him the Gentiles will hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, that you may abound in hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. Passage number 4. This is from Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 5 through 8. The scripture says, Yahweh says, Cursed is the man who trusts in man, relies on strength of flesh, and whose heart departs from Yahweh. For he will be like a bush in the desert, and will not see when good comes, but will inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, an uninhabited salt land. Blessed is the man who trusts in Yahweh, and whose confidence is in Yahweh. For he will be as a tree planted by the waters, who spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be concerned in the year of drought. It won't cease from yielding fruit. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from Romans chapter 4, verses 18 through 22. The Bible says, Against hope, Abraham in hope believed, to the end that he might become a father of many nations, according to that which had been spoken, so will your offspring be. Without being weakened in faith, he didn't consider his own body, already having been worn out, he being about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yet, Looking to the promise of God, he didn't waver through unbelief, but grew strong through faith, giving glory to God, and being fully assured that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. Therefore it also was credited to him for righteousness. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of hope, and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on hope. Passage number 6 is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an incorruptible and undefiled inheritance that doesn't fade away reserved in heaven for you, who by the power of God are guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in Psalm chapter 33, verses 18 through 22. 
The Bible says, Behold, Yahweh's eye is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his loving kindness, to deliver their soul from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our soul has waited for Yahweh. He is our help and our shield. For our heart rejoices in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. Let your loving kindness be on us, Yahweh, since we have hoped in you. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of hope is from Titus chapter 2, verses 11 through 14. It reads, For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all men, instructing us to the intent that, denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we would live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope and appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people for his own possession, zealous for good works. Passage number 9. Our ninth verse is from 1 John chapter 3, verses 2 through 3. The passage states, Beloved, now we are children of God. It is not yet revealed what we will be, but we know that when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him just as he is. Everyone who has this hope set on him purifies himself, even as he is pure. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of hope is from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. It says, But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. Always be ready to give an answer to everyone who asks you a reason concerning the hope that is in you, with humility and fear. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of hope. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to hope, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.